Hi, thank you for joining me in today's video. I have so much motivation for you. I'm going to be doing all my regular house tidying, cleaning the living room, making dinner, taking care of leftovers. I have a massive amount of dishes and like five loads of laundry. Plus, I have grocery shopping where I have to put all this stuff away and restock my fridge and pantry and I have to clean out this truck. My daughter's car seat was a mess. And so you can watch me do it all or just listen to some good music while you clean your house because that's what I love watching cleaning videos for. So right here, I'm making a four ingredient chicken pot pie. Um, this is something that the kids started to want every Saturday. So it's something we're eating once a week. But I just use a can of chicken and a can of cream of chicken soup with mixed vegetables. And I mix it all together in a buttered or oiled pan. 
and then you just put croissants, like Pillsbury croissants, or you can get other crossing rolls. If I shop at Walmart, I like to buy the off-brand ones because they're cheaper. So you just put the whole roll of crescent tops on the pan, or if you use a square pan, you use half of it, and then you can have crescent rolls, um, and you can eat them plain or do other stuff with them. But it's a very quick and easy dinner, and it's simple, so the kids can make it themselves. On this night, I had to do it because they were on the floor carving pumpkins with their dads.
The microwave is gone off of this counter. This grocery shop was really hard for me to put all this stuff away. I have a very hard time coming home to a messy house. Like, my fridge has to be clean and organized before I leave. My dishes have to be done. My counters have to be clean. The floor has to be picked up and vacuumed before I can leave to go grocery shopping. And that was not the case this day. I had a dish, a sink full of dishes. And so it was more difficult to put all of this stuff away from grocery shopping. I think I was also feeding my toddler lunch at the same time I was trying to put stuff away. So that's another thing that makes it harder and more time consuming because I'm multitasking and I can't just get it done. So now this is where my daughter is taking a nap and I spent a long time cleaning out this truck. There was a lot of stuff that had to get taken out and come inside and there was a bag of chains that was covered in chalk so I had to put the chalk in a bag and I had to put the chains in a different bag so that it was clean and unfortunately I did not get to wipe all of the plastic and like get everything out and like really thoroughly clean it. I just was taking all this stuff out and vacuuming out the truck and my daughter's car seat. I did scrub the inserts of her car seat and I put them in the wash, but this was long overdue and I am so glad that I finally got it done.
So this is where the dishes start. All those cups and water bottles and everything on the side. That was stuff that I got out of the truck and stuff from lunch. And so this is just a massive pile of dishes that I now need to wash. So much so that they do not even all fit into one side of the sink. If you made it this far cleaning with me, I just have to tell you that I am proud of you because at this point in the video, I am exhausted. I still am not done with all my dishes. I had to stop everything I'm doing to deal with dinner. I don't usually soak my dishes, but I had warm water left in my dish tub from doing a humongous pile of dishes. So I'm like, I might as well put these dirty ones in here that I'm gonna have to wash after I clean up from dinner. So now I'm just cleaning up from dinner. <laughs> but hey, at least I had a dinner break. And so if you were able to get through a massive pile of dishes or like five loads of laundry or something, or even just pick up your living room or declutter something, like, good job. I'm proud of you. And you're doing great. For dinner, we had a plain cheese pizza, but I made my own buffalo chicken and put that on half of it. And on the other half, I put taco meat with some salsa, and then after it was baked in the oven, I served it with shredded lettuce on top and Greek yogurt in replacement for sour cream. And I think it looks absolutely delicious.
Okay, this is the last stretch of me cleaning up my house. My husband took the camping stuff down from outside, and so that's why there's sleeping bags and mats and stuff all over the floor. Um, but I cannot go to bed easily with this huge mess. I can't wake up to that in the morning. So I have to pick it up, even though it's late. So thank you for joining me. I hope you were motivated and that you got a lot done right alongside with me. And you can come over anytime you want. <laughs>